Hello guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. In my today's video I want to show you guys how to make a TikTok compilation YouTube thumbnail with Photoshop. So I usually do all my thumbnails for my TikTok compilation channel with Photoshop because I like to put the TikTok logo in the background as you guys can see here. So as you guys can see I'm usually using three screenshots from my TikTok compilation for my YouTube thumbnail and also using the TikTok logo for my thumbnail. So yeah, we will start by doing our screenshot, which we will then later on use for our thumbnail. So for my today's thumbnail, I already did a TikTok compilation of the new dance Charlie D'Amelio you just did. And yeah, if you don't know how to make a TikTok compilation YouTube video, just check out my other videos. I also have a complete course where I go from downloading the TikToks till uploading my TikTok compilation on YouTube. But in this video I just want to show you guys how I do my TikTok compilation thumbnail with Photoshop. So yeah, I will start as I told you by getting three screenshots. And one another tip of mine is that if you have like Charlie D'Amelio or Edison Ray, so more of the famous people inside your compilation, I also would use them in my thumbnail because they are like a big eye catcher and yeah so I will just look for a nice position of her I like it like here and I will do my first screenshot so on a Mac it's just comment shift 4 and I can do my screenshot like that then I will just keep watching my compilation and look for other nice poses so we have Noah Beck here for example, he is also pretty famous, so we can use him. I like it like that. I do my second screenshot. Perfect, and now for the last screenshot, let me look for another famous TikToker. I, I, I remember I had Lorraine Gray in my compilation, so I will use her as my last screenshot. Let's find a good pose of her. Oh, I think this one is a good pose. So again, we're doing a screenshot of this pose. And yeah, I'm having all my three screenshots now. Alright, so for my video today, I will um, make a new project in Photoshop. And yes, yeah, so for my thumbnails, I'm usually doing 1280 pixels times 720 pixels. So that's the size which you should use for your YouTube thumbnails. And I'm gonna open it, so it's gonna look like that. The next step is to put in my TikToks. So I will just put it in. And then as a size, I'm usually using 71 now because then there's like no air in between the TikToks, so 71 is perfect. I will just put her to the right. Then let's take Charlie also on 71, oops, too much, 71. And let's put her to the left. And then last but not least, we take Noah back, put him also at the 71 size and let me think, I think I want to put Noah back to the left and put Charlie D'Amelio in the middle, I have to say. So I will do that. So yeah, the person I have in the middle, I usually put as the first layer of my thumbnail. So Charlie is here the first one. And just look that there's like no blank spots between the different screenshots, so that's not like that, of course. But that's perfect. So when you guys saw my last um, thumbnail, I like to put the TikTok logo in the background of the middle screenshot. Like the person which is standing at the middle screenshot. Alright, so when we are going to do that now, we have to select the screenshot, which should be um, in front of the TikTok logo. So for us, it's Charlie D'Amelio. So now we take the third tool, which is this one. And we will select the person, so Charlie in this case. And we'll put it on her. So now um, Photoshop is automatically selecting the person, which they think it is. 
And as you guys can see, um, they didn't do it quite correctly, so they didn't select it her whole hand. But that's not, not a problem, so we can go again over her hand. And now Photoshop has also selected her hand. Once we are done with that, we go up here on choose and mask it. But now the thing is we want to turn it around. I'm sorry that it's in German, guys. But just do the same, go and turn around and then mask her out. So Charlie D'Amelio will be gone from our TikTok compilation for now. So the next step will be to put in the TikTok logo. So guys, just uh, look out that your TikTok logo is in a PNG format and doesn't have any background like mine. And now when you put it in, look that it's like the first layer of your thumbnail. So for my um, TikTok compilation thumbnails, I like to put the TikTok logo in like a 55, 45 or 65 degree angle, just that it's looking nice back here. And then I want to change the size usually to like 220. But in my case today, because um, Lorraine Gray is pretty small, I wanted to make it even bigger. So I try to make the TikTok logo as big as possible usually. We can even make it, ma let's see, can we do 260? Yes. So like this, it's looking perfect, I would say. We go up here and now the only thing we will have left to do is to take the mask and put it on top of the TikTok logo. So as you guys can see, Charlie D'Amelio is now in front of the TikTok logo. And yeah, so that's usually how I'm doing my thumbnails for my own TikTok compilation YouTube channel. So I hope I could help some of you guys out with doing your TikTok compilation thumbnail with Photoshop. If I did, please also hit the like and subscribe button. It would really help out my channel. And yeah, hopefully see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and bye.